All right, everybody. On today's fly tying quick tips video, we're gonna be doing the whip finish, but for the left-handers out there. Seems like every time that I teach a fly tying class, I have a left-hander in the group. My dad and brother are both left-handed. And so um, I'm always teaching left-handers how to tie flies. And every video out there shows uh, pretty much a right-handed tire. So this is gonna be from the perspective of a left-hander and we're gonna do this whip finish. So what I'm gonna do, if you're left-handed, you're gonna take your bobbin and it's gonna be in your right hand and your whip finish tool is gonna be in your left hand. What you're gonna do is you're going to pinch the whip finisher at the top right here where I am because we this tool rotates and we don't want it to rotate with this beginning portion. And so I'm gonna pinch it at the top. I'm gonna to take the hook I'm gonna hook the top of the thread and then I'm gonna take my bobbin and I'm gonna pull my bobbin up into that groove at the bottom. And I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna rest it on the vise. And I want my bobbin pointed out uh, parallel to the shank of the hook. So it should be right in line with the shank. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rotate. I'm gonna slide my fingers down so the bobbin will rotate. I'm sorry, so the whip finisher will rotate and I'm going to push down and towards myself and you guys will see that this is going, making a loop and it's going to cross the thread. That's exactly what I want. I'm going to take that where they crossed to the shank and I'm going to do start doing my rotations just like this. One full rotation around the hook is one half hitch. Most people do five when they're finishing a fly. So I'm going to rotate, rotate. Now, what's going to happen is as I get closer to the end, that gap is going to get smaller. And if we go too far, it's going to wrap up in the hook like that. And we don't want that. So as you're doing your rotations, you want to pull thread out by wiggling your left hand and make that triangle that you see bigger. And I'm going to do about three more. One, two, three. Then I'm going to push my whip finisher to the right, so that way the thread unclips from that bump. And I'm gonna pull my right hand away from the hook until I can unhook that right there. I'll show you guys one more time. Bobbin in my right hand, whip finisher in my left hand. I'm gonna pinch at the top so it doesn't rotate. I'm going to hook the thread. I'm going to pull up through that groove with the bobbin. And I'm going to rest my bobbin over here on the right. I'm gonna slide my fingers down and I'm gonna to pull towards me and up until the threads cross. I'm gonna move that cross to the hook. I'm gonna do five rotations, wiggling a little bit more thread out after each rotation. I'm going to push my ooh, that up and away. The hook's a little loose in the vise. I'm going to pull with my right hand until I unhook that right there. And that is how you whip finish if you're a lefty. Thanks for watching the videos.